What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Today is November 2nd. So I know there's a big thing goes around different channels out there in the world. It's called the second on second. So I've actually got two uh, magazines for my Ruger SR 1911 that I have not tried out on it yet. It's a couple of Wilson Combat eight round magazines so that's what i'm doing head to the gun range after work uh gonna go up here and we're gonna load those things up and see how they do through the 1911. i suspect they will do just fine um we will see so i thought i'd bring you guys along just you know just so you watch me shoot a gun <laughs> but uh, we got some other things we'll talk about. This video will go up sooner or later. Um, but it's going to be all 1911 stuff. So let's get to the range. Got a little something I'll talk about the range when I get to the range, and then we'll go in there and do some shooting and follow up at home. So this is the little gun range right here. I'll show you. It's the the gun room indoor shooting range. Um, I took my carry permit here. I've bought a lot of guns from here, right here in Lebanon, Tennessee. Um, but I had that 1911. I had two new magazines that Chase got me. So I wanted to run a few rounds through them, make sure they work. Work great, no problems whatsoever. Um, so now we're going home, take the gun home and clean it up and I'll talk to you a little more at home about the gun, buy a couple things I want to do, um, just for myself. Um, basically, I mean, I, I love the 1911, I probably won't carry it very often. The reason for being it's so heavy, I know, right holster, all that stuff, I, I, I know. And I have the right holster for the gun. It's still heavy gun. Um, I guess I like my Glock 19 too much. I love my Smith and Wessons, and but it's fun shooting that that Ruger. Um, I'll pop in a couple pictures. The very far left corner was the last target I shot, and my grouping was getting much better it's been a moment since i shot that gun it's been a moment since i have shot period and that's my fault i need to get out and shoot more um just hadn't done it just have not done it um but uh we'll get on home and we'll talk a little more um it's 34 dollars for 50 45 ACPs. That's expensive. Still. But it's the price you pay. Come back in a little while. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this uh, video real quick on the testing out these two magazines. Um, worked pretty darn good, didn't have any problems out of them. So they will be put in the rotation. They don't look now they are a little different from the Ruger factory mags, but they work. 1911 mags, unless you get into some of the cheap, cheap versions, usually work pretty good. I've the ones I've tried in this thing work pretty good so far. Um, the only thing I would like to change about this pistol altogether is the sights. Um, I want a night sight. And what I like that I have on my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, 
are the big dot XS big dot sights and that's how you make your sight picture is by lining the big dot on top of the little line just not a big fan of these they're hard to see they've always been kind of dirty looking if you see what I'm talking about and I've tried to clean them before and it just didn't brighten up so what I am going to do is clean this bad boy up put it away because I will not be carrying it anytime soon um, not that I wouldn't carry it I just not a big fan of it, how heavy it is I mean let's talk you know weight I know you know big bullet and all this stuff you can say all that you want to but that's just not I, I'm I'm satisfied with either my Glock my uh, Glock or my MMP shield or whatever I only said I wanted a 45 ACP 1911 in my collection I've got one and I wanted to go shoot it today had two new mags for it and I wanted to take them out and you know make sure they work work well um, these grips I love these grips I love the look it gives the gun and that's why I went with these grips at first they were super sharp when I put them on there uh, another viewer told me to take sandpaper and just lightly rub them put the sandpaper in your palm and just rub them slightly over it and it does it calms down the rough finish now they're more manageable to hold on to and it doesn't feel like they're cutting your finger, hands and fingers up but anyway I thought I'd throw a little second amendment on you shooting my Ruger SR 1911 I like this gun um, I might carry it on occasion and you know to be flashy or whatever with my friends and go yeah I got my 1911 on me today you know you know how guys do uh, let's be let's be real um, but anyways so I'm gonna clean her up put her back over in the gun safe put my headphones up I always use the Howard lights these are the ones um, that have the microphones built into them so you can turn the sound on in here and I think these are Chase's glasses, but he always used mine, so I used his. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this one. Um, like I said, the main purpose was just test testing out these new mags that Chase got me. They work flawlessly, so got two more mags. That's all the mags I got for my 1911, so if you got an 8 round 1911 mag you wanted to get rid of, hit a boy up. Alright guys, that's it for now. Make sure you check out all my links down below and see you on the next one. Be prepared.